All right. Hello and welcome to this week's uh, PlayStation new release stream. Uh, so we're going to start off with Galaxy. Uh, we're going to go for about 30 minutes, switch off to Submerged. Uh, Eric will stream that and then he'll go for probably about 30 minutes as well. And then we will close out with Colin streaming some of the Castle game. And, uh, I believe we're giving away a game at some point. So, stick around for that. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and start. So, Galaxy, um, is a, I guess, a roguelite, as they're describing it. A space shooter. It's split into seasons, uh, so it's got a presentation of, like, a, uh, I guess kind of Gundam-ish, like, anime... Uh, TV series and so it's split into seasons and it's uh, it's got a really cool presentation um, we're gonna go ahead and just go into season two uh, but let's I guess we won't skip the intro that way people can see what that is <clears throat> excuse me So, yeah, there's a, um, you get through the entirety of the first season and then, like, the opening of this, uh, season two is like, oh, wait, and you can also transform into, into a mech, aside from just being a spaceship. Uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and skip the tutorial since I've already done it. Um, so, the the controls in this game take a lot of getting used to. And I honestly, I, I, I haven't even kind of fully come to grips with them uh, just yet. Uh, it's also, it can be a pretty, pretty tough and somewhat unforgiving. Uh, basically, the the gist is... Good news. Navigation is um, online. To get through a season, you have to go through five missions uh, without dying. If you get to, like, the fourth mission in the season, if you get to, like, 1-4 and you die, you have to restart over. Um, you lose your upgrades and you have to start the season over again. Um, each mission takes about, you know, 8 to 10 minutes. Um, there are some things that carry over. Like, there are certain upgrades on your ship that will carry over and they will stay... Um, like once you get them, you'll keep them. Uh, but for the most part, most of the things that you're getting, uh, you will lose if you die. So you also lose them when you go when you carry over into the next season. Um, so now starting out with season two, all the upgrades that I had before, they're all gone. Um, so I'm starting fresh. And so what you'll do, I don't have anything now, uh, but you'll get salvage throughout a mission, and then once you you'll use that salvage to purchase uh, different upgrades. So you can have like a bounce shot. So that your your shots are bouncing off of asteroids or walls or whatever, um, you can repair uh, the health of your ship because that will also carry over in between missions. So if you finish one one mission and you've got two health left, uh, that'll carry over. So you might want to like repair your ship before you go out on your next mission. Um, you can purchase more missiles. Like you start with sixteen, you can purchase more. Uh, you can. Boost your shields, and, uh, boost uh, your thrusters, uh, various things like that. So I can't do anything just yet. 
And then here is when you were, where you're kind of like control your loadout, so you control like your muzzle, your bullet shape, fire pattern, uh, different things like that. And each each mission um, is is kind of randomly generated in a way. Um, you'll have a certain task to complete, and you'll start out in kind of open space. Uh, but you'll come across these like caves that are randomly, the 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 layout of the cave is randomly generated, and then somewhere in that cave is where Time your objective is going to be. Great. What's that? So oh. sometimes it's like maybe you you need to kill. Um, these like alien bugs, or maybe you need to collect a certain item that is within the cave. Um, sometimes that's just one thing, sometimes it's multiple things. Um, now in season two, it seems like, uh, like in the first season, it was caves that were kind of built of like asteroids and rock, and so now it looks like there's like building structures and that I'm, I'm navigating now. Alright, uh, so real quick, you are, you know, you can, you're gonna thrust forward with R2, you can break, and, and go back with L2. If you hold both of them, you can kind of stagnate. Uh, you're gonna use your F left analog stick to aim, X is shoot. Um, if you hold L1, you can kind of strafe around. Uh, R1 is a, a boost. Uh, you can kind of juke like this, which is like... Allows you to kind of like move out, out of the way of missiles and oncoming fire. And then holding circle, you can kind of lock onto enemies and shoot out missiles of your own. Um, you'll probably notice like it's, it's got a really nice presentation. Like, I like that when you juke, like your character will actually move uh, in his little like, um, in the bank. like art profile there. You like, as you're attacking enemies, like they'll show up on the screen and they'll be talking. Uh, I really like that stuff. Um, sometimes the the chatter can be a bit too much. Um, like I've probably heard my character say "money in the bank" uh, hundreds of times at this point. Uh, but it's kind of neat. Um, you're also seeing so in the map on the left. That's kind of uh, I can pull it up. That's the represent. Here is uh, what the structure looks like. So over there is where I need to get to. And actually, if we go to database, it will also show you, like, the equipment I have. Um, so right now I have, that's, like, the salvage, that's my crash coins, missiles. It'll also show you, here's what I have, like, um, as far as my loadout. And that'll change as I'm upgrading my ship and things like that. You know, you can look at your mission, your career unlocks. Uh, so the juke and strafe are things that I have unlocked for my ship that I will keep, no matter what. Even if I die, I will always keep those. And then these are things that will... Kind of change as I unlock them. Uh, as you're flying around, you'll notice that there's like various different factions that will be warring between each other. Um, so like sometimes you'll see bugs and like these guys like fighting against each other, and you can kind of like try to avoid them, or you can choose to, like, take both of them on. Played. 
Okay, and then um, at any moment, I can hit triangle, and I can transform into the my my mech, uh, my mech form. Uh, controls pretty similar. There's a few different things. Uh, if I hold square, I have a shield here, which can be pretty useful. I got a sword. Uh, I can also grapple onto things. Lugs pulled. Copy that. Return to the warp point. So I can grapple, and then I can actually like also shoot that out. Uh, you can grapple enemies, pull them towards you, and hit them with your sword. I can charge up my sword, do kind of a dash. And then, so as you're completing your, like, your main objective for the mission, once you complete it, and you're like, alright, uh, you know, get out of there and, and head to the warp point. Uh, typically, the warp point will have enemies around it that you'll need to take on I mean, before you can warp out. Oh no, oh. This could be bad. I shield the back. Uh, yeah, so it just, um... Music is really good. I think just, though, I think the presentation in this is, is amazing. Like, I... Uh, for as much as I have found myself kind of battling with the controls and trying to get used to them, uh, the presentation is just like the thing that's keeping me going. It's like, all right, yeah, this is good stuff, but uh, but it's yeah, it's tough. It's tough to get used to like the controls and get them to do what you want to do. I think you have a lot, like you do have a lot of control over your ship, and there's a lot of things you can do. So I I, I do kind of get the feeling that if it does click with you, like you can do some really cool things. Like, I love that you can, you know, you have full control and you can kind of stop on a dime and, and kind of mo maneuver this way and you have this juke that you can do to kind of strafe around enemies. Uh, when it works, like, it works really well. But even having spent, you know, a few hours with this, I'm still, like, not quite there. And yeah, and yeah, I love the, uh, like, the dialogue that comes in from enemies as you're engaging them. Like, all that stuff is really cool. Got a little nervous there at the end. It's been a couple of times I've kind of screwed up missions uh, right at the very end. I would have went into the mech mode to try to take him out, but like I'm still like even like even that I've really have not spent a whole lot of time with the mech, so that's even more so like not used to that either. Uh, so the crash coins are are interesting because one, so if, if you die and you have five or more crash coins. Uh, you can basically buy an extra sh like an extra chance uh, because dying puts you back at the beginning of, the, of a season. Um, let's say you get to the fourth or the fifth mission and you die. If you have five crash coins, you can actually spend those 
uh, to start that mission over again, what you have to do is uh, you all of your upgrades are actually then somewhere in the level. So you have to go find them and retrieve them first, and then you go up. Then you go about finishing the mission. Um, so that's really cool. But if you don't do that, uh, when you do restart. Uh, any of these crash coins that you Let's have are actually um, converted into scrap or, or into salvage that you can use to spend on upgrades. And I think one crash coin is like a couple hundred um, for the salvage. So I probably don't have a whole lot of options here. So we're going to go ahead and put, let's see, we're going to get a temp shield for now, and then restore eight missiles. Uh, so different things that you can get, you can get like a spread shot, so it'll, it'll instead of like firing in a straight line, you'll fire like three shots at once and they'll, they'll kind of spread out. Uh, you can buy, you can get like a, an attachment that kind of focuses in your aim. Um, you can get more of like an auto rapid fire uh, to fire faster. Um, again, you saw there was the uh, the upgrade you could purchase to have your shots bounce off of walls. Um, I've I've seen an upgrade I've got uh, a few times where if bugs like attack your ship, okay. it'll actually like freeze them for Just a moment. Okay, and then what? We get intel, and the Imperials get snow and blackouts in their broadcast. <laughs> oh man, that's gonna be so annoying for them. So another thing you'll notice is when I, uh... I might have to... When I hold the thrust, there's like a kind of a blue circle that appears around the ship. That is, um... It's like the noise I'm making, essentially. And so you see there's the detection cone from enemies. Uh, this blue uh, circle is kind of representative of like, your detection, you know. Or... So it's, it's kind of like, it's not really, you're not gonna be stealthing through you know, missions, but it is kind of nice to have, um, if, if it's something where, like, you don't really want to deal with, uh, certain enemies, like, maybe you're low on health, um, that kind of helps you kind of sneak past them if you want to. Uh, yeah, so when you get into, uh, when you get into the main area, like, that's the stuff that, that's procedural. And all the missions are, too. So, like, if I were to die and start that first mission over again, it would be a completely different mission. Um, so instead of yes. having to pull the plug like I just did, I may, maybe I would have to go in and, like, kill three bugs or something. So it kind of makes the uh, the impact of death a little, like, not as bad, whereas, like, if you die, it's like, oh, I, you gotta do all these missions over again, but, um, because they're, di because they're gonna be different each time, uh, it's kind of nice that when you do, that if you do have to restart, it's something that, uh, you're gonna be doing a different mission anyways. Nice job. Grab that satellite. The one satellite delivery coming up. Alright, watch the paint. Oh, and yeah, I, I guess I did show that. It's got a great pause screen. Uh, even if, like, if you go to the control map. Just, it's pretty good. Oh, 
Oh, they might be. Receiving fire. Satellite should be close. Yeah, close. Close to getting stolen. Die, fool. Got the satellite in hand, theme. Good. I just placed a nav marker. You'll need to drop it off there. Think you can do it? Easy as pot. No fucking. Um, I'm gonna try to get out of here quick, cause, uh, it's no good. Um, typically this is something you wanna, you wanna take pretty slow. Like, you don't wanna, uh, go in, you know, gun blazing or anything, cause it can, uh, things can go south really quick for you. Thank you. 
needs more. Oh. Alright, now, now we're good. And unfortunately, not having uh, any weapon upgrades so far means these, these fights go a little longer than they need to. Doing okay. I'm um, also in the level, like you saw, I, I found one out of four chests. Uh, you can find like blueprints within the level that will unlock different upgrades that you can purchase at the shop. And I believe those also, like if you find enough blue, like usually it's like find two blueprints and you'll get this upgrade that you can buy now. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you find both of those, that will also stay and carry over after you've died as well. Um, but let's see if we got any new. Time to start getting even. Yeah. Uh, so it looks like my 30 minutes are up. Um, so I think Eric's up next. He's gonna do some merge. Uh, but that's Galaxy. Like, it's, uh, I, uh, it's taken a while to get, to get, to get used to, like, an hour or two. Wasn't really feeling it too much. Um, but I'm starting to come around on it now that I've gotten used to how this controls. Uh, it's pretty cool. And again, like, I, I'm super into just, like, the presentation and everything. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, it's neat. I'm, it's tough. It's probably gonna take me a while to get through the whole game, but, uh, uh it's cool so far. Uh, so it's gonna do it for, for my part. The stream's gonna go down for a few seconds, and then Eric will... He'll take over and he'll he'll be streaming submerged.